and good evening everybody welcome welcome um yeah what a strange day um power cuts you know the old load shedding story has put me into this time slot and i just thought to myself you know what um i have to get the word out somehow that i won't be well possibly won't be able to fly tomorrow in the day and only in the evening so that's one thing uh, or two things already so guys um, I have to get my fix in I need a flight and I thought I'd start where this last one crashed out we're going to try this again I changed a few things I, I dropped the whole idea of flying in DirectX 12 in 2020 and I went back to DirectX 11 um, there's been a few updates in fact two updates now uh, for U11 in 2020 which I uh, loaded and according to one of my buddies this morning it's it's better for the PMDG uh, aircraft so we're going to try that as well um, and I think what I'll do this time is I'll just stick to normal flight sim operations instead of doing fancy things hopefully the autopilot doesn't break again so I'm just going to just out of principle finish the flight that bombed out the other day and I do apologize for it um, they upgraded our load, shed, uh, load shedding stage from one to two and I didn't know because when I started the flight it was supposed to not be load shedding and in the middle of it you know what happened it just crashed out so um, I ranted for like two hours afterwards man I was unhappy and I do apologize for it so um, today right now I did check there's nothing on the schedule. We just came out of load shedding, so there should be enough power to let, keep us going. And I'm ready to go. Hello, Steel. Welcome, welcome. Steam elements. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Well, Giuliano, hello, how's it? All good to you. Um, Let's get cracking. Um, I am on Iveo, so if anybody wants to join, you're welcome. Um, I'm just, well, let me get the focus on the correct place. Um, I'm just going to get back in the aircraft and get the APU going because I'm ready to go. Um, now, if I feel up to it, um, you know, if it's not too late and if there's still enough energy left in me, what I want to do after landing in San Diego, I want to actually fly one of our old challenging routes, which is going to be from Wellington in New Zealand down to um, Queenstown. And I want to try it in the PMDG because I never did. I've always just flown it in the Zebo. So I want to see what the PMDG does with it and how it feels to to do that last turn around that little hill over there, that little island. And uh, so if I've got enough energy, that's something I've in the back of my mind. So if any of you guys want to fly with, um, that's something I really want to do. Hello, hello, Paul. You start with your wahaha again. Telling you, telling you. Let's get this APU going. Oh, I talk too much. Okay, excellent, excellent. Are you going to fly with Paul? doesn't matter if you don't um, what I'll do is I'll do the whole planning everything here on the stream and then we can discuss it all and I'll show you what to look out for and what what we've learned in the past you know so if you if you want to go try it on your own you're welcome to do it um, as a matter of interest okay cool you say you're unable no worries no worries I hope you're okay anyway that today was a better day for you uh, traditionally um, hello Shad, welcome. Traditionally, uh, flat summer in general, flat summers in general, uh, don't really fly the whole Queenstown approach correctly because it's just too easy to trust automation and all. But it's quite interesting when you fly it as a Class C aircraft, which the Boeing is. So we'll quickly discuss that and just point out a few quirky, obvious little things for you. Right, so we got all this going. Uh, now we need to just wait a minute for the APU and then we'll get cracking. Oh, 
while I'm also thinking about it, if you guys bought the Queenstown scenery, I struggle to remember who made it, if it was any bowls or it was one of these guys. I can't remember now. Whoever made it, uh, there's a clash with the default Queenstown and you get these horrible bumps in the runway. And the only way to get rid of it is to actually edit the XML file in your app data Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I think it's the scenery file, I can't remember the exact name, but you have to actually go and remark out, in other words, cancel <coughs> the, the scenery, the default scenery. Um, Otherwise, the add-on scenery, you know, just dashes. It, it's horrible. You can't land it. You can't use that runway. And I actually figured out how to do that. So the runway at Queenstown is now smooth in 2020. Right, so we've got one minute. There we go. Let's get going. Sorry, Andile, I don't know if my mic was now muted because I'm coughing so much in between. Um, it's been years, buddy. How are you? I hope you're okay. If I'm repeating myself because I can't remember if my mic was on or off. Sorry about that. Muner, welcome. Um, guys, nice to see you. I need to up my volume here. I can't hear what this guy's saying. He's probably waiting for me now. Let's, let's see. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I ditched the 12 because of all those display anomalies in the PMDG. Um, and then the other thing I did was I experimented a little bit with DLSS, but I just went back to DLSS. I, I couldn't use the DAA. It was just FPS too angry for my system. My baby system can handle that. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to give it a bash. One thing I'm not going to do, Rab and Hello McDrying as well, one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to use all the fancy commands in the FMC. I'm just going to use it as a flight simmer and let's just let the automation do its thing like a normal flight simmer because I'm scared to press that descent now button in the FMC again. Just now we break it. You know, the autopilot dies again. I don't know. I don't have faith in it, and I, I don't have the energy to worry about that right now. <laughs> yeah. Steering pin is pulled. Watch for the salute and release from guidance on your right. Have a good flight. Right, For which aircraft, Mooner? For, because mine's working here in 2020 and also in the Zebo, so I'm not sure which aircraft you're referring to.
In the chair. Okay, I don't have a trim issue, so I'm not sure where that comes from. Let's see what happens. I mean, um, let's see if I can um, complete this flight because then you might want to check something on your side or check the forums. Um, I'm I'm not going onto the PMDG forum. I'm registered there, but anybody that knows my name, um, I don't want want to get involved in that forum and then there's finger pointing and all kinds of weird things. So I I mean I don't I just don't I don't even go there to read stuff. So. I wouldn't know. Come on, other way, man. So we're going to do the same flight as the other day. It's going to be the RNAV approach into runway 27. The wind is 6 knots. Um, so I don't care for that. I'm going to still use... Uh, it's kind of in the favor of runway 9, but I don't care. Um, I'm just going to continue using what I'm using. I thought my teller works in this thing. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Controller options. I think I might be on the wrong controller setting. Yeah, there we go. BMTG. Bravo. BMTG. There we go. Okay, my bad. Sorry. That's interesting, my friend. I'm not familiar with it at all, and um, I don't know what to say. If they acknowledge it, then so be it. I did place the B um, at Las Vegas. It doesn't match up. It's a known bug as well. It just doesn't match up here. Yeah. You see, there's also these elevation differences. Look, we're going down the hill now. So, unfortunately, that's that is a little bit of a pain. But it is what it is. And sometimes, believe it or not, when I get here and I press B again, it changes. Look there, I'm pressing B. It's doing nothing. But you'll see it at, at all the big airports when there's any kind of an elevation difference. It's not necessarily showing correctly. Usually, usually, not always, it's supposed to come right when you are at the runway. Because in, at the runway you should be at the published altitude. And in this case I can't see that happening because we're still going downhill, down, 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 down. So it's going to depend on where they take the barometer reading and things like that, you know.
Right, so we want to be on 1000. Right, let's go. One day, there we go.
Hey Joe, Joseph is here. Bunky donated twenty dollars through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Joe. Much appreciated, man. I hope you're well. Aldo, haha! <laughs> Los Angeles Center Skymatic 001, we are climbing to flight level 280, passing 11,000. Hey Francesca. Uh, 001, Los Angeles Center Grid, afternoon, squawk 7216. Squawk 7216, coming to 001. Go. Commanding series one, want radar contact at one three thousand. Now maintain set level two eight zero on course. I will climb on course. Flight level two eight zero is commanding series one. Francesco, I'm, I'm using DLSS um, in the automatic mode, and that seems to give me a fairly usable FPS. But it all depends on the actual. Um, uh, scenery that is in play. Uh, I've got some scenery that is so heavy it's really a pain in the butt. And then I've got scenery like where I just took off which is default Las Vegas. It's beautiful. I don't have any status and problems and things. So depends on where you fly. My uh, my average FPS is absolutely unknown to me but it, it has to be above 20 because I mean you just you don't see the same kind of jitters and lags and stutters and things that you would see if it was too low. So it seems to be usable. It's okay. Like uh, with explain also, I've and I mean it's just me. And I've got, come into the habit to actually reboot my system before I start any of the flight simulators because when I've been working on this computer the whole day and there's so many things loaded, opened and closed and everything, it's just not worth taking the chance to just fire up the sim and get going unless you do a proper reboot because then you can at least clear the memory a little bit and you've got a, a reasonable chance of getting a good system boot and, you know, running optimally. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. I'm just waiting for authors to come to explain 12, proper authors, not the explain 11 Jeppo ones, I'm talking proper ones. Then I'll be much happier, but um, I like my explain 12, man. It's, it doesn't have the same photogrammetry and things, but you know, authors will make it better.
Right, so nice steady climb here. I do think that with U11 there's been a bit of a weather upgrade. I don't know, I, I heard something about thermals and um, you know, kind of winds and stuff that changed inside of FS2020. So you can see it's a bit more moving around, it's not a static anymore. Mm, interesting. Hello, Steve. I'm okay mate, I just mute my mic every now and then for a coughing fit and a, and a yawn here and there but other than that I'm okay. Are you back from holiday or are you still on holiday? How are you doing? Right, well, top of descent isn't far away, so we might as well start prepping. Let's request our winds and stuff. Weather 2006. Okay, it's changed a little bit. More in our favor at least, uh, 2996. Paris, hello, welcome. Wow. Bouncy, bouncy. No, 2996. Alright, we need to drop 800 kilograms. 64. Nine. Yeah, that's more realistic. All right, okay. So on the battery, we have two nine nine six. Two nine nine six. Okay, let's get our course set again. Right, then we want to check the charts. Right, so we're gonna do our nav runway T seven and we're going to descend to two thousand, but we'll wait for the ATC to tell us. We know we can't use RNP zero one one, so we're gonna use RNP zero three and that gives us seven seventy eight. Come on, man. Don't do 
use the gun. It's a big hit, especially in this Uncle John. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? Alright. Good. How about? Also good, I'm redoing that flight that crashed out on me the other night, man. Okay. I'm glad to see Mr. Mack here. Yeah. Have you read my report, yes. Mac? It's good Ma day, Jen. Yeah, yes, Mac. So I've been reading your episodes in... Uh, X-Plane 12. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, auto save and stuff. I just lost my Iveo client for some reason. It just died. It went away. Mac, you're, you're broadcasting me. Echo. Huh? You're echoing. No, it's not me. It's right. Mac. I've just, ca uh, just uh, muted the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Mr. MC there on the stream, um, just a quick um, thank you very much. Um, I did not create the Zebo mod, just for the record, it was Lubos. Um, his name is Lubos and his nickname is Zebo, and that's where the Zebo mod comes from. Um, I just work here and I work my butt off together with the rest of the team. Um, I'm probably the most well known you know spokesperson and everything else for it you know the most well-known member of the team i should say or something like that but um, yeah just for the record um zebo made it um i just helped make it better with the rest of the team kind of a thing we're sort of like nico's very much sort of like adds up a, a public facing test team as so. such yeah. There are a lot of people that do testing right. in the back. MADX 221, thank you. Nico's a sort of interface between Joe Public and what goes on in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, John, you broke up terribly. Come to the mic, say again. I said without you, Nico, Zebo wouldn't be where it is today because you, you've orchestrated it basically. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've done a lot. I've done a lot. Um, I know, I know. I just don't like blowing my own trumpet. That's all. Um, and and, and yeah. another thing that Nico does, which helps Zebo greatly, is he interfaces between lots of comments that we all gather in public, mm. but quite a lot of them can be operator error rather than a, a fault or with explain or zebo and we managed to filter those to a certain extent and nico does an awful lot of helping people who yeah. need to, to help them improve their flight swimming experience yeah i'm probably i'm probably engaged in user support probably most of the day my greatest portion of it and then the testing is another portion and so on and so forth but yeah all part of the and, deal and us people in the background people do not appreciate just how much of every just about every day nico's puts effort into the float simming experience for everybody yeah he probably allocates more time to float simming the, hey, also, I'm sorry, American 544 is 5.5 .5 for uh, 330. Good morning. Certainly in helping other people. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Hello, Fry Simulation. Okay, guys, I'm on ATC now. I'm going to have to talk to him pretty soon. So just be aware if I mute Discord for, you know, some reason that, you know, I couldn't speak out loud first. I'm just going to mute you when I have to. I 
I'll talk to you after the stream, uh, Mac. Okay. Los Angeles Center Schematic 001. Did he get the box? No. Los Angeles Center Schematic 001. Here's the one, go ahead. Uh, so apologies, we had a crash in our altitude client. I have reconnected and this is also just part of a, a voice check with you. Uh, we'll be ready for descent in about 20 miles. Command one, no problem. You can descend as published by the lucky one arrival and expect Arnav Zulu runway 27 at San Diego. We'll descend on the published uh, arrival, sir, and expect runway 27 Zulu for uh, Arnav 27. Uh, schematic 001. Your Joe, tell you what. Um, a lot of people don't know this, you're one of the guys that know behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, the Zebo mod came just at the right time. I was kind of drifting a little bit in the in my life and in the flight some world and all of a sudden I had purpose again, you know, and it just worked out very nicely and me and Zebo get along very well and, you know, it's nice to, to be part of something bigger and um, I'm glad it did, you know, I mean, in the last five years, it's been fun. I've worked my butt off, but it's been fun and I love what we do and I love helping and making it better and teaching. Um, a lot of guys that might be watching now don't probably know this or some would know. I mean, a great deal of what I do is teaching people how to fly the Boeing, you know, and um, that's something I really have a passion for as well. I just don't have as much time as I used to have during lockdown, you know, we'd love to put a little bit more effort in there. But the last month, two months has been hectic in the real world day. So um, it's been fun. I understand, Joe. No, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate the compliment. I'm going to be careful of the caps. Um, we get back onto this good. Sorry, guys, I had to meet quickly. Um, Uncle John, careful of the, the caps, otherwise the bot might block you. I can't remember what the cap threshold is, but it's not much. The bot might block you. No, dude, thank you. Um, for those of you that joined late, um, the idea, the plan is to go fly Wellington to Queenstown afterwards. If you guys are up to it, you're welcome to stick around. Otherwise, watch the video later. Um, so far, I'm feeling energetic enough to actually go to it. Center, Skymatic 221, push back, ready for taxi 26 right. That was the to come and join you. Skymatic 221, ready 26 right, taxi by Charlie 3 and Bravo. Excellent. Paul's probably kicking himself that he can't come and join us as well. Oh, he was on stream. I'm not sure if he's still there. Paul, if he's still there, just say I. He was talking to me on the stream. Yeah, I saw. Mm. We've been having a little comment in the background. Oh, okay, okay. 
Right, well, you see, now if you leave the aircraft to do its thing and you don't go and do fancy things, it works. So <laughs> I'm happy that it goes. It's descending. Didn't like the descent now, you say, the other day. Yeah, the moment I clicked that descent now, that all the pilots just died. Oh. Is that a reported... Uh, <laughs> I love it! <laughs> <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Mac. Yes. I don't know if you heard the comment about the runway slope and the runway problem in Queenstown in 2020. No, no. The add-on scenery. I can't remember who made it if it was Inibals. I, know, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't just name a name. I, I can't remember who made it. But it's clashing with the default FS2020. And the only way to fix it is to edit the XML file. Um, the, you know, like in what we've got global airports. Um, yeah. They've got like a similar XML file in 2020 and you have to go find the default uh, NZQN just to remark it out so that it doesn't load it. Then there's no clash and the runway works. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what an answer. Here you go, Uncle John. <laughs> <laughs> is but is that well full of water? That's what I want to know. You'll have to send the bucket down, man. <laughs> And if Paul makes us laugh much more, it'll probably be full of tears. <laughs> wow, the E is moving a bit, yeah, look, look. So turbulence gets the aircraft in this sim as well. Yeah, in, in U11 apparently the turbulence and the thermals and all kinds of things have come into play now because they're busy preparing for, I think the gliders was the one thing and then the helicopters is the other thing that they're busy preparing oh, yeah. for. Um, anyway, that's what I was told, so... Nico, if you go into the weather tab, you can activate it so you can see the thermals. Ah, okay. Way, somewhere, yeah. Up the top, at the handlebar. Yeah, show 3D thermals. Let's do it. Well, it's on now, Rab. Let's see, let's see. I tried it when I had to be up, but I was on the ground and I could see them, eh? Alright, well, I'll shout when I see it. If you guys see it before me, shout. It's like blue arrows, you'll see. Yeah. One would think there should be some thermals around the mountains or the hills and stuff, but we'll, we'll see if we get closer, maybe we're too far or something. Maybe.
Pizza, some pilot. Welcome, welcome. Two make two twenty one. Radar contact. Coming with hit that level three zero. Up to three zero zero. Paramedic. Thank you, sir. Two nine nine five, Skymatics one. SWE Aviation, welcome, hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. All right, hello, Reggie. Um, SWE, I'm flying in Southern California, La uh, Las Vegas to San Diego, and afterwards we're going to do 
uh, New Zealand. Queenstown is the destination and we're going to fly from Wellington. Why are we not going down? Dip your nose, man. Dip your nose. Guys, while I've got so many of you here, um, please note, I do not know if I'm going to stream tomorrow morning yet. I will only know tomorrow morning. I'm waiting for a contractor to come and help me at home. And if he actually does come, I'll be busy. So I'll fly later on in the day. Just FYI, take note, please. There's the thermals. Look, look, look. If you guys see these little blue lines. See, look the thermals. Look. Look those thermals. How's that? At Lindy intersection, we cleared the Orna for Zulu runway 27 approach, schematic 001. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Wow. Fireworks. Pew, pew. <laughs> no, I'm not coming to CTP. Um, if, uh, if the contractor comes tomorrow, I'm busy the whole day. I don't know when CDP actually is. I don't know it's sometimes, sometime in the weekend tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty occupied, man, like big time. Yeah, also, I think CDP is a VATSIM thing. I don't fly VATSIM really, so um, we don't know VAO. That's where we normally operate, so we yeah, are kind of stuck on that one too. If that contractor does not come tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do. Then, then me and my son will probably have to put up some of the stuff while we wait for him. Right? Because we can't wait any much longer. Right? Ah, there dies my... Oh no, he didn't. Sorry, I touched the button. I uh, almost thought it died again like the last time. There we go. I bet he is back. I've got to start my ICOS. Oops. It's not a disaster, it's just annoying. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Going from low to a place called Cluj in uh, Romania. Okay. Wow. Great visibility, eh? Yeah, 
achieves. I think can do Ian approaches. Oh yeah, there it is, there it is. Thank you, sir. Runway 27, clear to land. Schematic 001. Runway 27, It is very slippery, eh? it's not like the Zebo mod, it, it handles a little bit differently. Why well, I put my gear out a little bit earlier. Congratulations, uh, SWE. Yeah, that's good. Good. It's nice to be part of a VA where you can get some flights and you know join the guys a little bit, have some fun. Wing dip very quickly, eh? Wow. Yo, this thing is like a, a kite in the wind. was freaky. And LA Center, American 544, we'd like to start over with the the rest of the world on the can. Thank you, 544, watch the descent of the 
Uh, according to the BI software, it's 243 foot per minute, so you're yeah, very close. Oh, thank you so much. I'm at the one. I think I'm going to enlarge my controller sensitivities more into the minus a little bit. This aircraft was very, very lively here at the end. It's just it's unbelievable. It's like flying like a pit special. Like there's no weight in it at all. Uh, BMTG did not push an update in the last two or three days. It was like a week ago or so they did an update. Uh, but FS2020 did update two or three times already now in the last couple of days. Um, and since then it is better to fly. The guys I see are still complaining, what I hear from what I hear is that they're still complaining about that left wing drop. It's like the wing stalls. And then you have to grab it once you, you, uh, you know, let go of the, the autopilot. But I'm not a, I'm not a very um, clued up person on what happens here and behind the scenes. This is just where I come for fun. Eh? Uh, SK Sun, exactly what I mean as well. Um, during the takeoff, let me show you this quickly. We go to the controller options. What I did the other day was um, I changed my sensitivities, right? So I brought the uh, plus and the minus ones um, for the X and Y axis down to minus 40. Hello, Bravo 29012, hello, Squawk 7234. I'm actually going to lift it now, you see, from 39 to 55, see if that makes a difference for me, because honestly, yeah, that's just very unrealistic. So maybe that's better. We'll see next time we fly. We'll see. I'm not uh, too bother bothered about it now. The next thing, obviously, now, as we said, we're going to fly to uh, from Wellington to, to Queenstown. So just want to finish this flight, get everything done properly, and then... We'll do the planning together and get going on that one. Then we'll see what happens when we get to the arrival that side. Hello, Sendus Comatic 001, we're on the blocks and thank you for your service, so much appreciated. You're welcome.
Uh, SK Sun, I agree with you. Something needs to be done. My little change I made in the sensitivity there is just a, a temporary thing to help it on uh, along a bit. Um, John, I also see you've joined us here. Yeah, about a half hour ago. Okay, I didn't notice. Anyway, I'm waiting for you. And once you are here, um, guys, if you want to grab coffee and snacks and stuff, go do it now. Because once John lands, you should be here in about 15 minutes. Yes, sir. I'm about 20 miles from top of the set now. Okay, okay, because I'm watching you on the map now. Um, what we'll do is we'll we'll do the planning and everything together because I don't think you've ever flown that route. So I'll I'll talk you guys through everything and we'll set it up. I'm just gonna let the um, let the stream play and then I'm gonna go make myself some coffee as well and then you know we'll we'll handle it unless unless we can chat about it while you're still flying. You know when you get close we'll just shut our mouths and let you land kind of a thing that could also be but I need coffee now let's just start with basics fine with me Nico I could always mute you out until I land yeah but I don't want you to miss something because um, there are tricks that you need to know about so that's okay. why, why I'm saying it's it's imperative that you you actually know about it so okay guys i'm gonna go grab coffee do the same if you feel like it i'm leaving it as is the the screen so you you'll be able to see john come in later as well and you know we'll take it as it comes
Dico Can you hear me? He's not there at the moment, Hakan. He's just left for a bit. But he's doing another flight now uh, to Queenstown, New Zealand, Queenstown. Are you going to fly in New Australia? I'm flying at the moment. Uh, Romania. I'm talking to ATC at the moment. Uh, I'll get back. Okay. Let me wait for Nico when he comes. Maybe he can respond me. I've tuned into control and just getting the DHS and he says I've got to turn it off in um, active ASXP. But I've never had a problem before and it's uh, not on, I don't think. That's in my line weather. And it's uh, not on, I don't think. That's in my line weather. And it's. Uh, Uncle John? No one Nico
Hello, guys. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank how you. Are you. How are you? I'm okay. How are you, Arkan? I'm pretty fine. What is the next flight? Please share with us. I'm going to join. It's NZWN to NZQN, exactly as it's on the stream there. How much you can wait for this? We are going to probably be off an hour before we even think of taking off, so you take your time. Thank you. Okay. John, how far are you now? I am down at 10,000 feet and I'm probably about uh, 40, 50 miles off the field. Okay. Any specific route can you share? Yeah, it's the one in the VA. Let me get, let me get there. Let me get there. You know, I can create my own route. However, uh, we need to fly in the sequence. Therefore, yes. I need your plan, sir. I understand now, okay. You know, you are so polite, I don't want to accumulate some extra job to you. Yeah, give me a second. Hello, Krester. Yeah, that's cool. Um... Right, I'm just waiting for my stuff to get on the screen so I can help you as well. I uh, just had a problem where I was getting the 80s on the controller frequency and um, it's to do with Active Sky apparently. Um, be. Just for information, yeah well I turned Active Sky off and it works but when mm -hmm. I put the flight plan in again it, it started getting the 80s again so if anybody gets the problem uh, initially turn your Active Sky off. We can just change the frequency quickly and test it. Then you t you can switch it off permanently if you need to. Yeah, no, I've tried that. Yeah, it didn't work. All right. Okay. So wind is favouring runway three four. And let's see what's happening on the other side. If we actually have any winds and stuff, I don't think we've got any information there. Okay, so we don't have any information for Queenstown. Which runway do you guys want to take? See, Krester wants to take runway 05. Which runway do you guys like, Mac? Yeah, um, I must admit, I like the... The one where you have to do the circle round the uh, uh, round the hill, okay. which presumably going to do the one uh, I zero. What's the runways? It's all right. I've I just only zero just five and twenty three. I think right zero uh, zero five twenty three. Sorry, landing. Yes. Come in that way, 
do the circle round to land. Alright, let me get my bearings in this place then. Uh, Birch taxi import information. Okay, well, 23 is the one coming over the land. 05 is the one coming over the lake. So, yeah, Paul, but you no. come down the lake mm -hmm. and then do the circle and go round and land. Okay, well, we've got now two against one. Anybody else want to change? Zero five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, Paul, no, Paul's. Do what Paul says. Don't matter. What's 423, Uncle John? Yeah, I like the one coming down the lake, so don't get wrong, that's fine. Well, 23 is the one not coming um, and not doing the circle to land. So 05 is the only one that comes over the lake and does the, the circle to land. Unless I'm mistaken, let's have a look see. Let's see what this G looks like. Approach orange. So you do 05 then? Because if you're a C-class plane, you actually, as we pointed out many times, have mm. to do a loop. Um, yeah, look, 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 both of them, actually, now that you've dropped my memory, both of them have the loop. Okay, so even if you yeah. come, even if you come from the land side on 23, you still have to do that loop. And you know what? I've never done it from the 23 side ever. The, the loop, I mean, I just go in straight and I land when I come from 23. Exactly. I've never done the loop. Okay, okay, I'm settled. I'm going to do the 23 with the RNF G. All right, okay. So guys, let's quickly talk about pitfalls and things. Um, one of the, the things that is not evident in the beginning when you start choosing your RNAV approaches and stuff, um, let's take RNAV Zulu because I think most flight simmers will take RNAV Zulu. Um, if you look at the RNAV Zulu, will you zoom in for me please? What's wrong with you? Because now it's very small. Why does it not zoom in? Let's try. Closing it, reopening it. Okay, let's go down here. Right, there we go. This is better. So any any normal flight simmer will typically go for what they know. So that's where our nav Zulu and Yankee and things like that would come in. But one of the things that's tricky about this airport is you, when you read the charts, you'll see that the RNAV approaches, those specific normal flight sim ones that the flight simmers will, will choose, is only for a certain aircraft type and it doesn't include, in this case, it's a it's a class B. And the Zebo or the 738-800 PMDG, whatever you're flying in the sim, uh, the 800 is definitely a class C, which means that you can't use your ordinary RNAV Zulu stuff, okay? Or the Yankees and all those things. And it took us a little while to work it out to actually understand it. And uh, believe it or not, it was Mac trying who, who one day said, hey, but look here, yeah. Mac, it was here, if, if I recall correctly. It's well, it was discussions between me and Paul because we did okay. a lot of playing around at this airport. Okay. Paul okay. did it and fly in it. He aced it. Um, okay. Paul's very good at hand flying. All right. So, yeah. So, the big trick was to find one that's class C, which ended up being the G in this case. And then, obviously, coming from the other side, you're going to have to find the similar one. Um, and once we go and we actually look, uh, nope, that's not the right one on. Uh, why did it not take on FG? That's correct. 
the back. Now, what's wrong with Navigraph again? Come on, catch a wake up. Uh, Ornav G. There's Ornav G. This one. We can take away. There we go. So the Ornav approach is RNPG. Alright. So let's just pin that one. RNPG. Alright. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to follow the normal flight sim slash aircraft in real world flight route and we're going to get to that point over there the moment we get to that point we are more than likely going to see the runway but we're going to be high right we are probably going to be there it's 9.5 miles and we're going to be at 6,000 foot compared to what's the airport elevation here the airport elevation is 1,171. So there's no ways to drop to 1,171 from 6,000 all the way down in a straight line. It's just impossible. That, that space is just not good enough. Okay. Um, right. So what then happens is what they say is you need to do the circle to land, which is this little insert here. So you're going to fly off towards the VOR, past the VOR. This is all done visually. And you're going to literally hand fly that circle. And then you're going to drop your altitude and you're going to come to land. All right. <laughs> <laughs> God bless, yeah. Okay, so um this is this is the plan. Uh John, other John, are you with us? Do do you see what I put on the stream or are you not following me? I was in the middle of landing, I just parked at the gate. I'll catch up. It's not a big deal. I think I've flown mm. that route before. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Guys, can we please keep politics off the stream? It's not important for us. We can talk about it later. Um, all right, so, um, yeah, then we're going to disconnect, we're going to hand fly, and we're going to land. So that's the big trick. If we make it, we make it. If we don't make it, we don't make it. You know, and that's part of the fun. We've had a lot of crashes. We've had a lot of success. It is it is one of those things where you really, really, um, you know, need skill and practice. And just because you think you're a great pilot doesn't mean that you can fly this. Trust me, I'm a great pilot, but I've also pranked here a few times already. So, yeah, we're going to do our best. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm just trying to see quickly. We are waiting for root. Yeah, hold on, hold on, I'll give it to you now. Hold a second, Dokkan. Okay, sir. How are you doing, by the way? Everything is fine? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I heard that someone speaking politics there. You know, I'm king. Yeah. We I, can, I can punish them if you want. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm trying to decide which way to go. All right, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take runway 3-4, like we said, and then we're going to do the pull-up. Uh, and Saba uh, departure there. Okay, then I've got the flight route. So let me copy this flight route quickly. I'm going to put it into my planned flights. Um, yes, do that, sir. Yeah. New Zealand flight. Alright, so there you I want to ask a question. Speak your mind. Why I can't c 
copy your root from Discord. I don't know. I can. You can copy it and put it directly into Navigraph desktop charts because that's where it comes from. Right, so I'm gonna pop it in there quickly. So three, four, and that will be twenty-three. Um, in real life, no, it's all done visually, and you can only do it on um, the release from ATC. Um, the only other way to bypass this, if you do not fly by the numbers and by the charts, is if ATC vectors you. You know, so if you're actually flying IFR, you're stuck. You have to do it properly, and then they're not going to give you. Um, different things unless like I say unless it's under ATC control and stuff you can't just change things yourself so whatever ATC will give you that's what will happen you can create fix a circle around the VOR yeah you can do that you. Mm. yeah but it still means you're still gonna fly um, IFR, etc., etc. It's a question of just helping yourself a little bit to plot yeah. points or something. Yeah, it's just to give you some guidance. It's a bit like saying putting your circles around the landing, but yeah. Yeah. you know the distance to the hills. You can yeah. create a circle around that yeah. hill yes, and yes, the yes. BOR. Yeah, you can. Uh, Christer, that's fine. I'm on my way there now. Um, Let's let's do that. Let's go there quickly. There are so many different ways of flying that. Um, you really need a real life pilot to say which is probably the better way to do it. Right, okay. Uh, right, you can go away. All right, gents, uh, give me a parking that's available. Tell me where do I go put myself? Um, where's the nearest pub? <laughs> yeah. Right, well, can I take gate 15? Any objections, gentlemen? Yeah, I suppose if you want to, you can do it in little nav map and go through the whole story there with that as well. It's a triple time pilot, he said. How much time we have? And out of interest, if a real airline wants to land a C-class aircraft there, they would probably create their own special uh, approach and get it approved and how they would set their FMC and routing, etc.
What is the destination runway number? I think they said two three. Yeah, two three, two three. Well, Christian, if you fly it according to the charts, you're going to hand fly either way, and both of them requires the that actual circle um, to land thing. You know, so hand fly you're going to hand fly if you do it properly. If you if you use the other on nav, obviously, if you're capable of doing that, you're going to get away with murder a little bit. You know, it's kind of not real. It's doable, but you know, not really the way it's supposed to be. Right, so let me plan to ATC.
Nico? Yes? Could you please tell me what's your gate number? Uh, 15, 1, 5. Okay, thank you. I have opened my uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. Okay. What do you think? Can I catch you? Mm, I don't know. Try. Yeah. Don't you wait for me? I can't. It's getting late. You need to move on. I'll wait as long as I can. Okay. Oops, now I've got to go, folks. Catch you later. Okay. See you. Bye, Mac. Gate 16 available? I don't see anybody next to me. I can try it. Okay, I've just looked back at the chart quickly. That QN603 is the point where you need to basically break away from the magenta. So QN611 is where the VOR is located. 
All right, it's basically right next to the VOR. So we're going to fly something like this and come back. Ha! Or we're going to nosedive. <laughs> we'll, we'll decide when we get there. Okay. I want to go back just one page quickly. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna work. Not that one. Okay. Right, okay, next. Enjoy, Christer. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that as that. Why not? I'm sorry, Nico. Which approach did you select? Um, e L R U four B. Okay, and um, is it the R N V G or the R N F Zulu? No, R N F G, R N B G. Um, you can take the RNAV Zulu if it's more comfortable for you. It's not for the correct aircraft. That is the whole point of it. That's part of the trick, okay? Um, it's for a Class B aircraft. But if you want the challenge, you can have to do the G and then fly by hand around that little hill there. So it's your choice. No problem. I'm starting my APU.
cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Roger that. Ready to push. Tail to the left. Park brakes off. Brakes released. Here we go. Back complete. Park the brake set. Brake set. All right, steering pin is disconnected. Watch for the slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. AP start. Skype. Righto, I'm starting my taxi. Pushback or taxi? Taxi, taxi, taxi. 
Are you Air New Zealand? No, I'm Skymatics. Why I don't see you on email? I don't know, I can it says I'm connected. It says I'm connected, so I don't know if, if it's not showing me, I'm I'm clueless. I can always disconnect and reconnect, try again, but um, to me it's got a green light. I see you taxing. You're fine. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I've got myself on way by as well. No idea why, Krister. I mean, we're on. We don't talk that much, that's one thing for sure. No, sir. No, no. I didn't even think of AU at this point in time. I'll use it when I uh, when I land if I have to. Because it's only us here. I didn't really think about using it, Krister. There's literally no one else here except us guys who can hear each other, speak to each other. Just one, two minutes. Right, Doga. Airspeed alive. Knots. Starting engine two. Okay. I see you, by the way. Aircraft climbs way too fast, eh? way too fast. Starting number one. Okay.
taxi. Okay, good luck, enjoy. John, are you okay? Yeah, I'm making my taxi to 3 4. Okay, hello, George. Who is American Airlines? That's John. Uh, Mr. Uncle John. Stabilized. No, Dr. John. Hey, I guess I gotta switch my number. MD or PhD, doctor? Medical. Medical. I have a problem. No, you don't. Not on live stream. Okay. Actually, I don't have a problem. Who said? <laughs> the airport over there. Uh, hey. <laughs> yeah, George, I think it would, man, it would. I can't wait to get also proper explain 12 also, it's not the explain 11 Japo ones. I really, really would like to have that. How can is this you passing underneath me there at the bottom? No. Not you. Okay. I, I am in the I am in the airport. Try Uncle John. Okay, Uncle John, it's you. Hello Uncle John. Saw your lights. There he goes. Here PhD Uncle John. Yeah. I'm waiting for three minutes separation. Yep. Uh, 
Ugh, in fact, they did do it automatically. Why do I bother? Alex, SRS Robbie. Go, I can't go. I will shortcut, no worry. Don't shortcut because then we're gonna all come short. V1. Rotate. Pulse the freight. Gear up. Less than one hour will be landing, so we're close enough to that. Land trust. Excellent, Krester. Welcome. Come on, zero. Hello, Jens. Hello. All good? Yes, thank you. And you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. A bit late, good. but I'm good. Autopilot on. Well, I suggest you kick back, relax, enjoy the ride. I'm doing the same. We'll worry about the landing when we get there. Dear Nico. Christopher. Did you make any plans for the weekend? Yeah, Christopher, I'm expecting a contractor to come and do some work at my house tomorrow. So I did explain it to the guys earlier in the stream a couple of hours ago. Um, I have no confirmation that he's coming or not coming. We'll find that out tomorrow morning. If he doesn't, it still puts me in an awkward position. So I'll probably fly in the morning um, and then me and my son will have to go and you know start the work on our own um, until you know he either joins us or comes next week so that's a bit of a problem and I don't know how far we're gonna get tomorrow so we'll see other than that I just need rest why okay okay I'm just asking okay just asking uh, I'm quite busy this weekend myself okay yeah But I've been practicing a lot with the new X-Plane 12 and the heli helis, helicopters and okay. the 
Austin's new electric airplane. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to fly. Okay. How long yeah. does the battery last? 20 minutes. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, yeah. I can't go from Malmö to Copenhagen. Not even that. I have to land on the bridge uh -huh. between. Uh, it's so sad. I just I needed 10 more minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Christer. This whole electric thing is, uh, is still in the infancy stages. It needs to really grow up a bit. Yeah, but uh, I tell you, it's great fun to do this valley, valley, so valley co copter. Mm. So it's really fun to fly. It's a different setting, a different way oh, to fly. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. It's a, both a Cessna and a helicopter at the same time. Lights off, altimeter standard. Thank you, Captain Hakan. Hakan, did you release watch. your passengers? Yes, let's and watch your vehicles Ooh. streaming. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much to see until we get closer to land. Maybe we miss it in this view over here. We can at least see something. Or maybe, let's do it this way. Why not? I see your message. You are right there, Akan. Means I saw your message new right now. Mm. But what does it mean? What it's part of an old mean? conversation. No, you won't remember. Don't worry about it. Really? Yeah. It's... I don't need to. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, Paul, I like your comment there, five pilots to pot. I, I wonder how many is going to make it. All of us, of course. <laughs> I hope so. Well, I'm planning to. I'm also planning to. I promise you, I'm not planning to fail, but um, I've, I've not done it in this aircraft. I've done it in the Ziva a gazillion times, so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Nico? Cheers, Steve. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I want an overclock of your number of watching now. I can see 21 in my software. I don't know how many is really there. Yeah, 22 I see right now. I want to overclock them. Mm. Thanks, Steve. Bye. Look at the IWO map. We are so beautiful. I have a technical question, Nico. Yes. What is topo? Topo. Isn't that topography or something? No, you know? it is. It is. Uh, for example, there is a number in the top of climb. For this flight, for my route, is three six one zero zero zero. 
Okay. You, you, you enter this number to FMC. Uh, I mean, MCU. I don't know. Isn't that your your cruise altitude or your maximum cruise altitude or your optimized cruise altitude? One of those ones. I don't have any idea. Just I don't, I want to ask Topo. Something related to troposphere, maybe. What are you flying, Hawkan? A Cessna? No. Phoenix. A Phoenix. Okay. Yes. Yes, Paul. We we were five to depart and hopefully five to arrive. We'll see. A moment in attention. It can happen to anyone. Yes, you're so correct. Queenstown is very dangerous approach to fly into, actually. Cluster, that's why I said in the beginning, this is where the men and the mice are separated. This is, uh, this, you either have the hair on your chest to do it or you don't. And if you yeah. don't, then you, you have to grow them and you have to practice, practice, practice until you get there. You know, it's just. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been there, I've done that mm -hmm. many times. So, I know. Yeah, but the guys on stream might not know, so that's really for yes. them. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, George, enjoy, and we'll talk later. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, George. Oh, difficult approach. Yeah, you were supposed to pay attention in class, Hakan. You know, a piano. Mm. A piano, a yes. Yes, Hakan, but you have the PPL almost. No. Right? No. Uh, you don't know, maybe. I have no. uh, refused the course. Yeah, he stopped. I he stopped. stopped. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. No, you don't need to be sorry. Why you are sorry? <laughs> because I was thinking you are going to be a real pilot. Uh, but under these conditions, so I don't want to explain right now. If Nico give me permission, I can explain. Yeah, no, can no worries, later. Hokan. No later. worries, Hokan. You can do it later, but okay. I'm, I'm was expecting you to be a real pilot. I'm so sorry to hear that. Whatever the reason is. Well, but taking PPL is not a big problem. I can take any time. So, but right now the situation, I mean, the conditions are not mature. Uh, from the technical point of view, this is my opinion. That's it. I understand. How come? You go for it next year. You, you make it. It depends. If I see more mature, eh? <laughs> uh, okay. But I, I'm thinking high thoughts of you, Hokan. I, I believe you can do it easily. Of course, theoretical courses are not uh, a big issue from my side. Uh, I have already seen many of the uh, courses, so I skipped after 35 hours. Yeah, yeah. 30, 35, something like that. Well, I think high of you, Mr. Hocker. 
Say again, please. I think very high of you, Mr. Hockham. Uh. Good day to you all. Hello, Owen. Hello, Mr. Owen. Hey, what's up, Nico? What are you doing? I'm flying to Queenstown quickly. Check YouTube. Yeah, you're not doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at you. You're not doing a special flight or a special test. No, it's not a test at all. It's just us having a bit of fun. I'm having withdrawal symptoms because I didn't really fly much in the last couple of days. So I'm trying to satisfy my craving. <laughs> is this 12 or 11? No, this is oh. 2020. I've never done this flight in uh, the PMDG. Oh, Ever. this is a, PM this is a PMDG. Okay. Yeah, so... We just did the flight that bombed out the other night because of the load shedding and then we said, well, let's do this flight as well because, <coughs> I beg your pardon, while I'm in the PMDG, we well, might as well go try Queenstown, see what it does. Okay. I just landed with that Phoenix on uh, La Paz with uh, 12 knots uh, tailwind and uh, 22 gust. That didn't go well. Wow. Um, just for the record, it's half past ten. Just after half past ten, I'm allowed to yawn. I'll try and mute the button, but I can't always get to it that quick. Good evening, Dr. John. You're flying as well? We see your light goes on, but we can't hear you. Take your mic. Um, yes, Owen, he's flying with us. Uh, it's my grandson was on my lap and he knocked it off. Better to take off one-handed than to land. For sure. And whoever did say hello to me, thank you. Ha um, hello back. That's Erwin. Erwin, nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm the one that asked for that livery with the grandchildren, remember? Which one was it? I once asked the livery with the uh, photo of my grandchildren, remember? Oh, yeah. You know what? Just send me... Did you ever send me the picture? I told I told you I didn't have... I tried it, but uh, it didn't work work out. I don't know what, what it was. I think it's because I'm on Windows and you're on Apple. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I couldn't get contact. Incredible. Um, yeah, you can hook up with me at another time. I won't take up the time here, but... If I didn't right. make it, I will make it. That's no, not so important. 
I'll, I'll come back to you uh, when I'm ready. Then. No problem. Okay, gents, I'm at 77 nautical miles for top of descent, so I'm going to start prepping and doing the little bit I should do. Okay, I'm 50 miles. It's kind of exciting. I missed the meter from Queenstown. Yeah, there's no meter available on any platform that uh, I can so find. So I don't know if we get any visuals or not. We have no idea. We're going to fly in good faith. In faith. Yes, sir. Well, earlier today it was clear. Winds 305 at 2 knots, 8 degrees Celsius, and QNH 1030. Just flying uh, without uh, skymetics so uh, like A cars or whatever. My A cars is loaded. I've got the live map A, A cars in skymetics. I can't see you. Are you watching the oh. stream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching. Check New Zealand, we want the three, four guys. Yeah, 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 I found it. reason it jumps to Madagascar if I uh, zoom in. Are you not connected at Madagascar? No, 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 not at I, it, it jumps the the, the 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 view, the live map view gotcha. jumps to Madagascar. When oh, I zoom weird. In. You tried once, strange. Nico, yes, Arkans. Can you? Give a favor for us. I don't know. Could you please read the matter in the destination? There is none. We don't know what's happening there. We we can't find any weather information at this time. No, 
Nico, the latest one I found was from the 18th, three days ago. Ouch. Yeah, and that was that's the one I put in the stream. Even we don't have QNH, eh? Um, when Crester lands, he'll tell us his, what he what he sees in his aircraft, and then we'll all just use that until some of us see something different. I'm in 2020, you're in 2020, so we just press the B button. We don't care. You know, we don't know what it is. We don't care. We press the B button. Uh, how can I got from uh, my active sky? is from 1800 Zulu and it's three knots on the three uh, 030 and it's Q and 1029 thank you very much what about temperature temperatures is six degrees dew point minus two Thank you, Sean. Uh, you're welcome, sir. It's clear. Clear, clear. weather. Clear weather, yes. Okay, top of descent. Good luck, Captain, and stop calling me Shirley. Yeah, don't call me Shirley. Remember that site you uh, once mentioned, Nico? Metoradar.com. Ah, uh, no. Don't remember that. But did you find yeah. anything there? Metor Metoradar.com. You can get your uh, weather there.
opened your PM, uh, Christer, with the meter radar point com. Did you check the current uh, date and time on it? Twenty first of the month, seventeen hundred hours. Okay. You got it now? Okay, I've started my descent. So the QNH is one zero zero four. Okay, I found um, 2030 Zulu, that's 1030, that's like 18 minutes ago, the QNH is 1030, going to pop it on the stream for you guys, then you can get it. There's the link guys, just go check it there. Thank you. Where do you get that? Follow the link. It's meter-taf.com. In oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's it's the same website that's integrated into our yeah. VA. Now, why the VA one doesn't pick it up, but the the freestanding one from the same site picks it up? I don't know, man. It's just seriously messed up. I use that one all the time. Miko. Yes, Mac. That meta that you looking at for the meta dot tap dot com mm. is actually the meta for Christchurch. If you look at the bottom on the right hand side, mm. it actually tells yes, you. That meta. All right, you will be broadcasting me again. Let's have a look see. Oh, yes, I see, NZCH. Ah, okay. <laughs> so it's the closest, it's the closest reporting station, in other words, is, is Christchurch. Yeah. Bugs. So although it's an interpolination, um, it's the nearest available, but I think Queenstown as an airfield isn't open at weekends. Mac, it could be. Because it's only 9 30 in the morning there, so you'd yeah. really expect air traffic to be manned by now. Yeah. I don't know what the charts say for that. 
about opening hours of the airfield. No, I did indeed. Aircraft arrival between 2200 and 0700 local time are not permitted. All right, so we know that it's but it's 930 in the morning. Then. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's that's the only restriction I see that's noted in any of these documentations, Mac. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. I know that uh, nighttime landings are in now. No. Mm. But. Having said that, if you look at uh, windy.com, you've got winds at 3,000 feet of about four knots from the west and at ground level one, two, two knots from the west. So, forget it. No cloud. Pocket Edition, it helps us very much that it's open when they don't publish weather information. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a cowboy landing there, a couple of us, and we'll see. We'll see. Forty nautical miles to descending. The top of descent, Harkon. Erwin, did you say something? <laughs> I said, 20 miles to top of descent, Marco. <laughs> I'll try my best pocket edition. Just, I think the best would be to uh, take a red flag of some sort, just stand on the side and just wave me off, you know, if you see me come close.
Morning, Simon. Hello, hello. Yeah, long time, long time. I'm glad to see you again. Yeah, I'm okay. It's getting late. We are trying to land in a very dangerous airport just for the fun of it, you know. Get some adrenaline pumping a little bit. Dangeros. Very dangeros. The funny thing is, I did mention it before on other streams, the last time we landed here, YouTube actually gave me a strike on the video <laughs> because they said I, I classified it incorrectly because it, the, the actions is uh, not suitable for children because it's dangerous. <laughs> it was funny. I had to appeal it and, and explain to them, this is a flight simulator, it's not the real world. <laughs> <laughs> So YouTube algorithm, listen carefully. This is a simulator. Nobody's going to die, even if we crash. Isn't it? Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Might I see dead but... people. Yeah. I know if I'm crashing, I'm going to hear it for at least two weeks ahead. Mm. <laughs> First time I landed at... L-O-W-I, skidded right off into the people's houses, had a yeah. disconnect. He went to the pub. <laughs> yeah. We know the pub stories. Yeah. I did when it looks secure like that. Come back here. Yeah. yeah, better. Okay, I'm closing in. 8,000 feet. Okay. Press the B button, let's see. Yeah, well, if I press the B button in 2020, I get 1029 currently at 17,000 feet. That's wrong. That's just your opinion. Yeah, this is my opinion. Yeah. Think about there is no barometer. Well, somebody's got some mercury and it's counting something. It's about a thousand and twenty-nine, a thousand and thirty. Mm -hmm. Judging by Christchurch, yes. Yep. It's funny, Dunedin is closer. I don't know why. Probably because it's a huge hub. <laughs> That they're using Christchurch, I don't know. <laughs> There's no airports that are kicking out Meta at the moment, that's why Nico is the nearest one with Meta being Gotcha. Being produced, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, spawning so many if I didn't get twenty twenty for free and if I didn't have access um to a reduced price for the PMDG in 2020. I wouldn't have bought it myself. I would have stayed away, um, but that's just me. I got it for free and I got a hundred dollars off my two PMDG planes because I had the P3D one. That was the agreement with PMDG at the time and they honored it. So um, yeah, I, I got it for peanuts compared to if you have to buy right now. Eh? I mean, uh, about that meter, it's strange that uh, from 5 o'clock until, what time is it now? 1700 until now, that Q&H went up from 1004 to 1031 or what? Yeah. Your voice is so weak, Erwin. 
Yeah, is it is it weak? Yeah, it's kind I'm of. Very, I'm a very firm uh, talker. Yeah, I've got you on full volume, and I can oh, hear it's I'll like it's a bit reduced. I'll do, I'll do something about it. This mm -hmm. better, is better, isn't it? This better, isn't it? Yes. Mac? Interesting, if you go to uh, Queenstown Airport Arrivals, there's already been two aircraft landed there. And a third one's on its way in. Might get in your way. We'll see. Thanks, Pocket Edition. Yeah, he says the current meter on the ground is 1031, and I will yawn. It's my stream. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Trester is about to land. Yeah, I'm pretty close. I have to. I was high, actually. I don't trust these charts. No, Who you will be that? high because you're using the wrong chart, that's why. Yeah. You need to well, skip RNAV. You can't use RNAV in a Class C aircraft at this airport. Mm -hmm. you, you need to go for the, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G charts. That's the one. Yeah, need. I did. I did. But I'm, I'm going uh, pretty good. Okay, but remember, you need to now disconnect when you get to that hill on the right hand side and you need to fly by hand and you need to descend from 6,000 down to landing altitude while you're doing that turn. That's if you fly it according to the charts. Mm. He's on 3,000 already, so... Yeah, no, he's, he's yeah, taking the Yeah, I'm on 3,000, so now I'm, I'm uh, disconnecting right now. Yeah, Scotsman, we were waiting just for you to land now. Yeah, that's a nice approach, uh, Nico. It's a bit of a descent we're having to do over there. There is the lake, Christopher just came in over it, so the airport is right there in the neck over there. Right, so. We need to just quickly check it up a little bit. Did you say I'm a professional? Yes. <laughs> I think we need to be down to about 185 or less when we hit that last point, so we'll see. Yeah, Crystal had a nice landing. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Uh, spawning some in the top of the range one, which I think it's premium. That's what I was gifted. MFTC3, hello. Yeah, Erwin, minus 68. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? I had about 600, 700 on uh, La Paz with that uh, Phoenix just uh, now. With it, uh... Yeah, but that aircraft is quite different, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a zero. Eh? In MFDC3, I've had hiccups. I've had a few issues and stuff. I had to switch off uh, DirectX 12, go back to DirectX 11. I've had to wait for two updates at least to get it stable. So, so far so good. Uh, now that we, we into it a little while, but the initial SU-11 was full of nonsense. Okay, feet on the pedals, tray stowed, seat upright. Marbles? Uh, stowed. Ah, great. Uh, now we tight him down, Christopher. <laughs> and the wings are stretched? Oh, yes, straight. <laughs> Time. Okay, runway vacated. Thank you, sir. All right, the runway is just there where the mouse is. You can't see it from here, but we're on our way down. That little hill over there is our beacon. We're gonna fly a little bit and then turn right around it and come back to that. As far as I know, the VOR is right on top of that little hill over there. Thank you, Pocket Edition. Yeah, I get the same. I'm still on 1029 when I press the B key. So we're there, we're there. Are you Mango? Yes. I must admit, Paul, it'd be interesting having seen the scenery here in 2020. I don't have you visited Queenstown again in XP twelve yet? I've been there once, yeah, just quickly, but obviously I don't have seen any for it, so just the default. Yeah, but the mountains and everything is mm. relevant to the airfield anyway. Yeah, there is the VOR little mountain over there, so we're going to go straight onto it and then make our turn and come back and try and keep our bearings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> don't forget your speed. Yeah, I'm already geared down, configured to land apart from the flaps. Yeah. So, 
what is it 185 right um well i'm at 156 now so i think yeah, you have to be below 185 yeah well, uh, maximum 185 yeah there's your runway over there if you're going to the right are you going to the left or the right of that hill be all right they have to go to the right mac in that case you must be landing uh, zero five right? you won't get round that hill and on to two three or tell you no, that's how it's been designed that's what the charts tell me oh sorry two three yeah that's all right um no, no worries no worries Don't worry i think this is what? just the first turn. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There is two more turns. Yeah. Okay. So the trick is we need to continuously descend now in this turn while not killing ourselves. Mm. Why are we climbing? I'm pulling on the stick, sorry. Oops, oops. Can't descend too fast, but we can't climb. the hill so we need to continue and then turn back why are we climbing you idiot fly properly check your trips uh, I trimmed it for nose down about 1000 foot a minute um, but it's in the turn and the, the mistake I make is not to keep my eye on it because once you go wings level you will naturally get the nose up so unless you trim it down more so my bad I must say this circle to land is easier than the one on, on 05 05 is, is very tighter I mean, there you've got to really, really turn. Eh? Make sure you turn proper. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Yes, we know, we know. Shush. I got you. I see you. Okay. Still 1,300 to 1,200 of the bottom. Put in the air compared to where we need to land. So once we turn and see that runway, we'll have to either nose dive or do something. Just keep it 900 feet. So good. There we go, there's the runway. Hello, David. Terrain, 
Get it on read the rest of your comments just now. I'm kind of just terrain, concentrating, terrain, just stand by. Terrain, terrain, pull up. 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 Yes, David, I read about the different approaches, yeah. 130, 20. 10. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's a bit of a bouncy bounce, but so what? We I made think it. you can do better than that. I think I can do better than that, you're right. Looking good, man. Yeah, I made it, I mean, it. it's not the best, but I made it. It was supposed to be flaps 30. Um, I pulled it on this Bravo, and if it didn't go to 30, then obviously <laughs> uh, it was a mistake. It was supposed to be 30. Where is Jan going? I'm getting the whole figure eight. Oh, you are. That's cool. Yeah, I've been hand flying for the last 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, shocker. Yeah, I like it. I like it, David. It's really good. I'll get your other comments just now. Let me just go pick a parking. I suppose that's John over there with the blinking light there in the sky. Well, that's it Hawkeye. could be. Yeah, it's a dark one. Well, there's two. There's two guys. So it's it might it is them. <laughs> Let's I call it that. I'm just Hawkeye trying to find him now. For yeah, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is landing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's very fast. Slow down, Hawkeye. Got his afterburners on. Yeah. Uh, John, you're very high. You're going to have to come down quite a bit, eh? Oh, come on, our gun. Ah, he's going to miss. Ah, he's yeah, on the floor. I missed. Stop, 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 stop. Our stop. gun, stop. He's stopping. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> break, 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 break. Oh, uh, it looks make, like it. He makes it. 
Good. Very nice. So, sort of a pity. <laughs> yeah, we uh, wanted the show. He <laughs> uh, would he would bounce up there and then. Uh, Where's John? <coughs> He's high up in the sky. Oh, John, oh, just circle oh, to oh, land, oh, buddy. Circle, come down, come down. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, Tucking some handbrake, yeah, good idea. Um, I did the stream, yes. Well, we did welcome you. MFTC3, what happened was we landed at San Diego. That was done. That was the first hour and a half of the stream. And then we said, you know what, while we're here and we've got time and energy, let's go fly this route, you know, as a challenge for everybody. So a couple of us guys just spawned at Wellington here in New Zealand and flew down to the South Island. Here we are. I'm kind of cheesed off that I didn't notice that we were on flaps 25. Could also account for a bit of a hard landing. I still don't know what my landing rate was. Let me have a look. See. Oh, yeah, 373 feet per minute. That's a bit harsh. Here we go again. Guys, pick your dates. Pick your dates. Bada bing, bye bye. Yo, MFDC3. Um, I've got a couple of videos about it, so you can see us do it in the in the Zebo lots of times. But this is the first time I'm doing it in PMDG ever. Never done it in PMDG that I can recall. Interesting. Did you take the B road, Hakon? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a first time for everything. Um, we didn't have, well, let me rephrase that. We didn't have 2020 in all the years. And I never even considered doing it in the NGXU in P3D. I don't know why. I just never, it just never came up in my mind. Is that all just default, Nico, or any add-on? No, it's the same add-on we have from the same supplier in Explain Mac. Ah, right, okay. This is just a 2020 version. The only thing, like I said, that I had to do in 2020, because of the add-on scenery, I had to physically go and edit that XML file to get rid of the yeah. bumps in the runway, because it was unflyable. You, you couldn't yeah. use it at all. It was rubbish. But having said that, that is... Beautiful, eh? Vastly improved compared with Explain 11. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of good features in 2020. Yeah. It just depends what you want. Yep. What? Yeah. Um, MFTC3, you just need to disable the default Queenstown. Otherwise, if you've got the payware, 
Um, from whoever made it, any builds origami. I can't remember who made it. It's, I can probably look it up, but it's irrelevant for me right now. Um, just make sure that you go and edit the XML file in uh, your app data Microsoft Flight Simulator that handles the scenery. So you need to find that default NZQN and just remark it out that it doesn't have any influence. Oh, there's John coming. He's taking a dive. I don't care what he does, as long as he arrives safely. Yeah. Plant it, dear sir. Plant it. There we go. Break, 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 break. Oh, come on, John. He's going to the pub. That's pretty center line, though. It was. Uh, no, it was. he broke the front gear and he's going to the pub. Well, Saint is such a I know who is buying the know. beer tonight. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Look, 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 look. He's not even going to the local pub. He's going to the big pub. Look, 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 look. Oh, look. my God. He's going in town. <laughs> yes, He's going yes, downtown. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the big restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you can't drink on an empty stomach. Who does that? Yeah. He's going downtown. <laughs> Is he? Look, he's there hey, by the big one. I, land, I landed on a street. <laughs> <laughs> you did, I'll, post, I'll post a picture of it. Yeah, you we did, we've, John. You we've did got good. A, um, pocket um, edition. Yeah, thank you. He says it's a school. We can't drink at the school, guys. We'll have to uh, have some cool aid. Uh, don't worry. Well, once we leave there and the tow truck's left uh, with the plane, we'll walk to the pub. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. I already don't have worry. your seat saved. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Good job, John. Thank you very much for your flight. Uh, I got to go. I wish a very good night. Sweet dreams. You too, Aka. Bye-bye. See you. I must admit, I do admire that airline with the passenger door-to-door -door pick up and drop-off service. Look, um, look at the picture I just posted in Zebo screenshots. <laughs> Perfect on the street outside of a house. Uh, oh, oh. So it's now Uber, U Uber Airlines. <laughs> Uber Air. I do have a lift there. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, All right, yeah. my wife's giving me the evil eye. I got to go. Thanks for the fun. I'll do better next time. Uh, yeah, no worries, take. John. Enjoy no worries. That was Brilliant, John. Take care. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah, can you believe it? Okay, Nico. Thank you very much for the streaming. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm disconnecting from my way. Guys and girls, thank you for watching. It was a long stream. So, thanks for sticking around if you did and all the other fun. I still don't know if tomorrow is going to be on for flying. I don't know. We'll find out in the morning. Keep your eye on my YouTube channel and on Discord and then you'll see if I have plans. If nothing is published, nothing's going to happen. It means I'm working in the yard tomorrow. So... We'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you, everybody. Have a very good rest of your day and evening. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, Nico.